<laughs> that's three three lightnings not including mine mine's not even here we got three lightnings back to back i think ever since he brought this one what's going on everybody it's your boy ace back with the fresh video it is not a fresh week i just posted yesterday today is uh thursday today's thursday um gotta start recording because i want to show you guys the buick we got the buick all done and then obviously just start showing you guys what's going on get you guys some progress videos and show you what uh show you what we show you you know <laughs> so uh yeah let's get you guys some footage show you how this buick came out and go from there oh well, well we got the buick lesaber finally all said and done um if you guys watch the past videos you guys do know that we did a full wet tan and buff this car had a lot of orange peel, not a lot of shine. It looked pretty bad, and it was just kind of throwing the whole look off. But we got everything back in order. Got the paint all nice and shiny. Did the full wet sand and buff. Cleaned up the interior as well. Got everything all cleaned up. The carpet, I mean, we did what we could, but it's an old car. It's a 1960s, so can only do so much. We did all the touch-ups on this car. Touched up all the little chips and whatnot. So got everything all nice and cleaned up and um it's ready to go i don't know what exactly my customer is gonna do with it might be selling it might be trading it i forgot what exactly he said he's gonna do but regardless our part is all said and done buick lesaber is finally ready to go out the door and we hope the customer is happy always all right guys today is officially a fresh week today is monday uh, I didn't get to record over the weekend. Saturday, we got uh, pretty busy with washes. We were kind of full with washes all day, so I didn't really get a chance to record. And then obviously, as you guys can see, we got two new carts in. So we got back-to-back -back on the Jeep SRTs, and then we got back-to-back -back on the Ford Lightnings. And it's pretty crazy because these are both low-mile Ford Lightnings. This one has, um, I think it just cracked 40,000 miles hasn't even hit 41 and then i think this one cracked 40,000 a couple months ago he doesn't really drive it but i remember him telling me that it was right around there or it might have been at 40 one of the times that he brought it something like that but i know it for sure it's right around 40,000 so you guys see we got the back-to-back -back lightnings both uh low mile trucks like i said rare trucks um this one's gonna be getting a full paint correction and ceramic coating, just like that one is. And then the Jeep SRT, obviously you guys know this one was here for uh, paint correction and ceramic coating. You can obviously tell the difference already. If you watch my last video, I didn't even have to put no special lights to it and you can see swirls and scratches all over it. But obviously, as you can tell, that's all coming back to life now and coming back together. <laughs> Jeep SRT. This one came in for a full detail. I think he's just gonna go ahead and sell this. I'm nothing too crazy, but he does want to clean it up. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it for today. Maybe not today, but for right now, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Show you guys what we got in and show you the other cars. So yeah, let's get this thing going. Kind of salty that I didn't get to show you guys this one when it was all done last time, but now that it's here, I'm definitely going to show it to you guys. Well, now that it's pulling off, at least. You guys see, everything came out real, real nice. The headlights, the tents, the paint and mirrors, the color match, everything. Everything is on point. So, yeah, like I said, I was kind of salty. I threw in a small clip for you guys last time, but that was not exactly how I wanted to show it to you guys. doesn't really show you the full image, but now you guys get to see it. We got a box Chevy in, box Chevy in, more toys, more toys. Coming in, in and out, in and out. No burger, in and out, no burger. All right, guys, we can officially show you the Jeep SRT. This one is all said and done, finally. Um, pretty sure I mentioned it to you guys, but we did remove the hood emblem and the ones on the doors too. The full paint correction and ceramic coating. This thing was pretty much covered in swirls. Uh, just a bunch of imperfections in the paint. So we cracked down on everything, got everything back in order, and ceramic coated everything. Now she's back in shape. He didn't want nothing on the inside. He was mainly concerned about the outside. The inside really isn't that bad anyway. So yeah, like I say, just wanted the outside, bring the outside back to life, give the outside the full works, took care of everything, got everything all buffed out, paint corrected, and ceramic coated. 
be protected for the years to come. And that's that. Jeep SRT is ready to go out the door. Yes, we did everything down to the tail legs. You can't skip the tail legs. That's a big part in the in the car. If you skip the tail legs, it'll kind of kill the whole look. Got everything you see. See the tail legs looking brand new. Got everything nice and shiny. Got all those swirls gone. If you watch my videos, um, I had showed one of the videos where I really didn't even have to put these bright lights to it. Uh, just with simply the, the wall lights, you can see all the swirls and imperfections on the truck. So. If you guys didn't see that, go well, make sure you go check out a couple of my other videos. I'm not sure which one it was in, but it was in one of them for sure. But just catch up. You got to catch up on all the videos. Make sure you catch up on all the videos. See, we got the lightning back to back. The white one is on its final steps. And then the black one is on its starting starting point. This one, uh, the front bumper got repainted. So he wanted to get rid of the orange peel just so everything matches up with the truck get rid of that orange peel buff it out and just do a whole paint correction and ceramic coating this one is on its last couple days my guy's gonna be finishing up the paint correction hopefully today if not tomorrow finish up the paint correction and then uh we move on to the coating you could tell if this is the side that he hasn't worked on i kind of see some of the marks right here but this other side i'm guessing yeah you could definitely tell i don't know if you guys see it in the camera but i see the difference so obviously this side is the one that's done. I know he did tell me he did. He finished up pretty much half of it, which I'm guessing is this half. I think it's safe to say it's this half. <laughs> so yeah, this lightning is on his last couple of days. We're gonna be finishing up the paint correction within the next couple of days, today or tomorrow, hopefully, and then start laying that ceramic coating. And then we gotta touch up a bunch of rock chips, which I think he did our, oh no, touch up a bunch of rock chips. Um, He might've touched up that side already, so. Yeah, guys, that's that. This one, I mean, we haven't really done too much from the last time you guys saw it. I just got everything pretty much all prepped and ready for buff. I sanded the bumper and that's that. That one is ready to start getting paint corrected and ceramic coated. And then you guys see Pop's got the other SRT coming back to life already. I think he knocked out this side. And I mean, I don't really have to say much. If you guys saw this in the videos, you guys know how bad this one was. The customer didn't even really have expectations for it. He said, just make it look better than it did. And I think we're doing just that. <laughs> so yeah, the Jeep SRT, second Jeep SRT is also coming back to life. And uh, that's that. I had to show you guys some, some shop progress, show you what we got going on. And we're definitely going to skip the Jeep. That looks good right there. All right, guys, we officially got the Ford Lightning ready to go out the door. A little bit of a uh, uh, rush timing. We got the customer here, not rushed, but you know we're trying to get him out of here. So I just definitely wanted to get this before you guys, uh, before he got out of here at least. Uh, we did the full paint correction and ceramic coating on the whole truck. Bed cover also got ceramic coating, everything down to the bed cover, the roof, everything down to the bottom of the bumpers, whatever you can think of, everything got ceramic coated. And as you guys could tell, it cleaned up real nice. Definitely brought it back to life. Like I told you guys before, this truck only has 40,000 miles. So it's not like the truck was, you know, old, beat up, and we had a lot of work to do. It was just cleaning up little swirls, make the paint shine again, and get it protected for the years to come. So, yeah, we got this one ready to go out the door. We're going to start working on the black one, and then we actually got another one in. <laughs> That's three. Three lightnings, not including mine. Mine's not even here. We got three lightnings back to back. I think ever since he brought this one, he attracted all the other ones. But yeah, that's that's the four lightning guys ready to go. We touched up the rock chips for him. He had a few rock chips in the front. I think I showed you guys those as well. And she's all set and ready to go. Another one that I didn't show you guys. Another two actually, if you want to count the little Honda, we could count the little Honda. <laughs> Got the other Jeep SRT all set and ready to go out the door. I am getting ready to Oh, got to get this scent bomb out of here. I am getting ready to um, drop this video, put this video together for you guys. So before I did that, I definitely wanted to make sure I showed you guys. Obviously, as you can see, that's not because of us. Uh, customer said he's still in the middle of putting everything back together. But he wanted to get it cleaned up because he said pretty much he already did the hard part. And he 
he's gonna finish that up whenever he gets a chance but this jeep srt along with the other one this one is getting picked up today the one behind me is getting picked up tomorrow so this one along with this one are both going out the door jeep srts are both done and ready to go after the jeep srts we'll get you guys some back-to-back -back lightning footage you guys know we got the lightnings in here so gotta make sure we get you guys some lightning footage box chevy i'm not sure if i showed you guys this one i might have i might not have <clears throat> uh i don't think it's all original i think the car got repainted at some point but if it did it got repainted way back in the 90s early 2000s because the paint job is for sure an older paint job but you see pops bringing the shine back out the whole top was pretty much all faded it didn't have no shine on the top he sanded that down a little bit definitely brought that shine back out so you guys see pops working his magic on the ball head caprice doing what he does doing what we do best this one is also coming back to life slowly but surely one after the other we're getting there we're getting there I told you guys we have the back-to-back -back lightnings so we'll get you guys some progress on those whenever we have some all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get that video out there for you guys um not really too much to go you know keep holding back and not show you guys uh it's not really too much going on i don't got the landing here the landing got uh pretty much not completely rewired it got rewired in some spots where the wiring got messed up i had the uh the alarm guy over at ogden auto glass he took care of all that wiring for me got all the lights back on point so whenever i do get that truck back, it's also getting new tints over at ogden so once i get that back um i'll show you guys all the lights and stuff i had never even showed you guys the lights in the back because they never worked now they work um i'll show you guys that and obviously that'll be a fresh video and the blue obs i mean hopefully <laughs> hopefully we see it soon um i was supposed to have it for halloween then thanksgiving and hopefully now i see it for christmas <laughs> um we're upgrading the fuel injectors on there uh I mean, I'm, I don't really want to get into detail. We, it's just something that should have been done before. But it is what it is. Fuel injectors are getting upgraded on the Blue OBS. Uh, and I got an appointment to get a dyno tune on December 18th. So that's the deadline for the, for the motor guy for hot rods. That's the deadline for them. Before December 18th, I need to have a bag so I can get a dyno tune and make sure I'm on point. So hopefully you guys see the Blue OBS soon. I hope, I really, really hope you guys see the, OBS, the blue OBS soon because I want to see the blue OBS, but it's just been, you know, motor stuff, I guess. This is why I never got into motor swaps, but we're already here. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to another week, another video. I appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing. Every single little thing you guys do, it goes a long way. So keep commenting. I see everything. I see all your comments. Keep sharing the video. Keep subscribing. Like I said, everything goes a long way. So keep it going. I'll see you guys next week. It's your boy Ace checking out. Thank you.